battle against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. seen a human being tossed like that. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, what is two, keeping two, this competitor going? I can't believe what we're seeing here. I'm on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. Oh boy. That number oh, bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not, not, right. again, not again. A third time. Pull out a big move. Carmella's in a real bad spot. We got a cover. One, two, three. That ends this big tag match. Victory here tonight. She really is a special superstar, and she proved that here tonight. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match. Drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Velveteen Dream is down, and it appears Trey and Ronda Rousey are going to attempt some kind of top rope double team maneuver. Ronda launches Tran to a somersault sent Tom Splat. Yeah, it looked like Ronda might have tweaked something. Maybe her ankle? And Trey gets the win for his team. I think you're right, Saxton. Ronda Rousey is definitely in pain. You okay? No, I can't put weight on it. Oh, I'm sorry. My fault. This appears to be a very costly victory for Team Rowdy Trey. This is on our WWE Champion. He was banged up from the cage match, and that caused the timing to be off when Ronda launched him into that senton splash. So now they're both hurt. I hope it was worth it for Trey. Well, you really blew it this time. Thanks to your screw-up last week, the doctor just said that Ronda has to pull out of the Mixed Match Challenge. Damn it. But I've got some good news. I already found you a new partner. Let me guess. You found someone who hasn't competed in WWE in 30 years. Actually, I found someone who's never competed in WWE at all. Me! I'm stepping down as GM to become an active WWE superstar. What? I've been thinking about making the move to in-ring competitor for a while now, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity, especially with a chance to win money for charity. I just love giving back to the community whenever I can. Anyway, let me know if you want to talk strategy before our match tonight. Oh, and one more thing. I tied up some loose ends before I stepped down as GM. You're going to defend your WWE Championship against Samoa Joe on the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live in a submission match. Later, partner. If Brooklyn's a WWE superstar now. I can't be a superstar now. I can't believe I have to be her partner. It's good she no longer has any authority, but it feels like she's even more ingrained in our lives. At least it's now legal for you to punch her in the face. <laughs> Again, I have to be her partner. She's not worse than Kurt Hawkins. The guy hasn't won a singles match in over a decade. At least you got to choose him. I didn't have any say in this. It wasn't like I had a ton of good options. Look, all that aside, I just have a feeling this isn't going to end well for anyone. 
Well, at least I can still make the best of a bad situation and win some money for charity. Hey, even though I might have the walking decade of defeat as my partner, I still plan on winning the mix match challenge. Same here. So I guess we'll just see whose crappy team flounders its way to the top. Hmm. Hmm. gonna hurt. Wait a second, it appears Brooklyn wants Trey to attempt the same double team maneuver that injured Ronda Rousey. Is she trying to prove she could do it better? I don't know, but it looks like Trey's not quite sure about this after what happened to Ronda. Perfect execution by the American heroes. An impressive win for the new team of Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun. I'm still not sure what to think about these two teaming. It's very strange. It looks like Trey's still trying to get used to it as well. I told you guys a hundred times, Brooklyn's a professional. She likes winning much more than she dislikes Trey. And here comes Trey's best friend, Red, for their mixed match challenge match. Hey, good luck. Well, that was awkward. You don't want to read too much in anything, but it certainly looked like Red just ignored Trey altogether. Well, it's obvious Red is upset about Trey teaming with Brooklyn, but she'd better get over it fast or it's going to end up costing her team this match. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that. Going for the home run. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, brutal. We've got a cover. Two, three. What a way to end this mixed tag match. There's plenty of emails on the roster. After a couple more wins for both our teams, Trey and I would be in a position we'd never been in before. Standing across the ring from each other as opponents in the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Yeah, you too. Do you mean that? Because it seems like you can't bring yourself to say the actual words. I can totally say it, but now that you told me to, it won't mean as much. Come on, just say it. Good luck. Hey, look. It's your partner. How convenient. You're talking to the opposition before our match? You do realize I could give them a competitive advantage. <laughs> My team doesn't need an advantage to beat someone who's had less than five matches. I'm pretty sure I had less than five matches when I was tapping you out in high school, and tonight will be exactly the same. Except this time, a whole lot more people will see me embarrass you. Come on, we need to discuss what we're going to do with our prize money after we win. I was thinking we donate it to victims of identity heft. It's when people identify as skinny, but they're actually really fat. I think Red might have it. German suplex, but that's not all. We got a cover. Guess not. Oh boy. That number no oh, oh, oh. Not done yet. Oh, not, not, done. Again, not again. A third time. That might have put the exclamation point on this one. Oh, and this has got to be it. still hasn't won a singles match in 10 years, but maybe this will give him the momentum he needs to change that. Who am I kidding? He's gonna go right back to his losing ways. I just hope that now that this is over, there won't be any hard feelings between Red and Trey. They've been through too much together to let something like this get between them.
Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. It's really the only way you're going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. After all, my MMA record was 24-2. and two. The two losses were DQs for eye gouging, so really, I was undefeated. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe. Who knows? Maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And by the way, I didn't get a chance to congratulate you on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. It actually inspired me. To what? Quit? No. Your donation of the $500,000 to that animal shelter in our hometown got me thinking. What can Brooklyn do to help? So I decided to donate a million dollars of my own personal money to the shelter. Wow, that's amazing. They're naming an entire wing after me. Did you get a wing? Not that I know of. Yeah, I guess 500 k isn't really wing money. But hey, I have the director's info. I'll see if they can at least name something after you. Maybe a maintenance closet or a bathroom stall. I'll let you know when we can get started on that training, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who tormented us for 20 years? I got to ride with her one time. And besides, she's changed, okay? I mean, she just donated a million dollars of her own money to an animal shelter. Bad people don't do that. How naive are you? She's obviously lying about the donation to try and get under my skin. There's no way she would ever actually do something good like that. She's always been fake, and this is no different. Can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. 